here the day after Christmas down at my shop. I was kind of curious about something. I came down here to do a little bit of cleaning because God knows there's some cleaning to do and I got some packages to send out. I was going to shoot some videos while I was down here. We got some of our field piece stuff kind of laying around. See, it looks like shit down here, but I'm going to work on that. Got the Supco EM60. So I'm going to plug in a few of these thermocouples to it and see what the temperature comes out as on this particular side. We're going to use one side to keep it uniform, plug these three in to see if there's any variation. So I'm going to plug the first one in, we'll let it settle out, see what happens. The first one's at 62.7. They've been sitting out for a while. I got all three of them sitting here. The first one's just one of these kind of braided looking ones that came with the Supco EM60, 62.6. So it's kind of right around in there, going back and forth. So we're going to plug this one right here in, which is the same exact kind, see what it says. So anywhere between 62.9 and 62.6. Next one, which is about the exact same thing, just one of the braided cords that came with it, sitting just a shade higher, bounded in between 63 and 62.9, so really close, just a couple tenths of a degree Fahrenheit here. And now I'm going to plug in the one that comes with my field piece meters, which looks a little bit more rugged, so we're going to see if there's any difference. The field piece, a little bit more rugged, durable looking, comes out to about the exact same again, 62.8. So all three came out to about the exact same reading, which is pretty good. See, it's bounding up around 63.9, or 60, sorry, 63, 62.9. So that's really good news. That, that means all three of these particular... Um, devices came in really close which means there isn't one that you're gonna get and say oh it's trash or anything like that just they all three work so that's good news I was expecting a little bit of difference but I'm pleasantly surprised that is the Supco EM60 dual temperature meter maybe we'll check in between the two now to see what they come out like but that's uh, encouraging news as another comparison I put the field piece lead in my SC57 meter it has warmed up just slightly in here because it's just today it's progressed a little bit. I was actually out of here for about 30 minutes and came back. So we're pretty much agreed over here at just above 64 degrees with the two thermocouples that came with the Supco EM60. And our field piece is running about a degree behind those, maybe a little bit more. So it'd be nice maybe we can get a third to stack right here and see how all three line up. We have our 64 and 63 here, so we're still pretty close between these two. 62.6 here on the field piece with the field piece thermocouple. I have a wireless transmitter and the ARH4 sling psychrometer head. So I'm going to switch to receive on this meter because we've already linked them up. They're sitting here and they're 62.4 as well. So our field piece stuff is running about a degree and a half cooler than a Subco EM60. So it's kind of be hard, kind of hard because the field piece stuff agrees. 62.5, 62.6. So it's really close, and you know they're relatively close overall. A degree and a half. It's not going to make a whole world of difference in most applications, but we can tell there's a little bit of separation here. So it'll be interesting to see. I don't know if I have another. I can bring the Hillmore in here, but uh, maybe we'll do that. We'll line them up and see. Three meters here. We have our 62.8 coming from our sling psychrometer head being wirelessly transmitted through the air right here. We have 63, so it's gotten a little bit warmer. So we're within about a degree here or so. 63.2 on the Hillmore with our little braided uh, thermocouple. They're all right there, so they're, they're pretty close really. There's some adjustment, and you can adjust these things, and you can calibrate them, but these are pretty close. So I'm thinking that they're all going to do a pretty good job for whoever wants any one of these devices. So that's pretty good. I think we should be satisfied with that. If you have to pick the closest two, it's going to be the field piece and the Hillmore right here, with the subcode being about a degree warmer. 